I'm just very blessed. You know, I obviously grew up in this state and played for my father at Newcastle, and I uh, have such great respect for this state and and young basketball and just uh, learning and growing and developing. And all these young kids are like I was. That uh, you're just dreaming that you can become good enough to play on a high school team and then, and then hopefully play beyond that. But uh, it's a special state, and for Dad and I, Dad started this camp back in 1986, and he and I have been doing it now for 37 years. And now to involve Corey, who's doing a tremendous job here at Huntington, it's just been a blessing having everybody together. Well, you yourself, you're coming off your fourth season at Nevada. Been, been in this game a long time on the coaching side, and, and really you've had a first-hand account to how much college basketball has changed over the years, especially with NIL, the transfer portal. For you to have a front-row seat to all this change in the college basketball uh, landscape, how has that impacted you over the years? Yeah, you just have to be able to make those transitions because um, if you're not making the rules, uh, you really don't have control over it. Um, you know, I was very fortunate I played in a one-class system uh, back in the early and mid-80s. I loved that, being a part of the, there was just one state champ every year. I loved that. Uh, so this era has changed in high school, and college is no different. Uh, I've seen a lot of changes in 33 years of coaching, and probably in the last couple of years, probably the most drastic and major changes. Not that I'm totally for, that's for sure, because I, I got into this. And it was an amateur sport, and uh, it was all about amateurism, and now uh, all that's changed. And uh, a lot of power with the student athletes now more than it is I think coaches and that's just a change that's happened and now coaches have to adjust if you're going to continue to do the things you like to do but I, I think the one thing that we'll be consistent with is how we go about training young men and coaching young men and trying to make them better versions of themselves while we have them. Speaking of your time here in the Hoosier State, Bob Knight obviously leaving a huge legacy on the game just how much do you feel like his impact is left on this state uh, and, and for the ba game of basketball long after his coaching career? Oh, Coach is, um, Coach is one of those guys that just made a, such an imprint uh, on this state. You had a lot, of, a lot of coaches that started to learn motion offense. You had a lot of coaches that changed how they played defensively. And uh, so his blueprint uh, of success is unmatched. And um, I, I'm, again, it's one of those blessings. I got an opportunity to play for my dad and then an opportunity to play for Coach Knight. Um, I couldn't have thought of any more blessings or dreams that I had as a young boy playing on the driveway to be able to play for those two individuals and uh, appreciate Coach very much because he was in my home. He said I'd get my degree. I did it. I'd play with great teammates. I did that. I'd have a chance to play for championships. I did that, and I'd have a friend for life. Those are the four things he promised, and uh, those are things that uh, he made come true, and I'm very, very appreciative that I had an opportunity to play for him. Well, sticking with the Hoosiers, a couple of uh, former Hoosiers are expected to hear their name called tonight during the NBA draft. Jalen hood Shafino and Trace Jackson-Davis, to your knowledge, how do you feel like those two, uh, their skill set, can translate to the professional level? Yeah, I really wish them the best. I was able to follow them over the, at least Trace, I recruited him when I was at UCLA, and so I've known him very well, but both of them are just incredibly talented. and. Um, I wish him the best. I'll be watching tonight, and hopefully things go well for them. It's, again, one of those things you don't control. That's why it's a draft. So you don't know where you're going. You don't know if you're going or what rounds you're going. Uh, it's about staying true to who you are. Uh, stay to your disciplines and whatever transpires in tonight. Know that you've got a, a great opportunity ahead of you. Just continue to do what you did in college as far as your work ethic and things will work out.